Welcome to Kids Fishing. In this episode, we're going wharf fishing, which is a great way to get into some deeper water and catch fish without the challenges of walking across the rocks with a small child. And later on, we're going to show you our kids fishing tip. So sit back and relax and watch us catch fish. Let's go fishing. This is Devonport Wharf. It's quite popular for fishing off here and it's a great spot for uh, for little kids to come and do some fishing. We're going to set up just on, on this side of the wharf over here because the uh, the tide's just at high tide now and it's about to uh, go out in about half an hour and that way when the tide goes uh, back out uh, our burley trail will be going back out with it as well and all the little fish will follow it up. As you can see we've rigged up uh, a little sabiki line set up here. We've got a little sinker on the bottom and they run up to the fishing rod. So it's a pretty basic setup. We're going to put that over the side in a minute and just see how that goes and then get that over to uh, the child to start fishing with. So hopefully we'll get something with it. We have caught one snapper. We've got the world's smallest snapper. So we're just going to lift up the rod. Look what we've got on there. A fishing! Who's that? A fish! What kind of fish is it? Do you want to come and have a look? I think it's a little snapper. I told you I'll catch a fish. Yeah. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the little fish off and uh, we'll throw it back in because it's very small. And then we'll try to catch a big one? Yeah, and then we'll try and catch a bigger one. We have caught one starfish. That's why I filled something. You did not notice. We've just caught a starfish, which is not exactly the target species. We're going to put that uh, back in the water now. There we go. What do you say? Thank you. Big starfish, isn't it? Mm -hmm. okay. I don't want you to touch him. Don't you? No. Why is that? Well, I don't. Okay, here we go. We're going to throw him back in. Ready? Starfish. Goodbye, starfish. Two snappers. I catch the fish. Got another one. Okay, swing it over here. Swing it, swing it over this way. You ready? No. Right. Okay, you ready? You count to three, and I'll, and I'll throw it in. Right, one, two. We have caught three snappers. Keep going. Oh. Keep going. Why? 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 That's what they call a snapper. That's the biggest fish you've ever caught. <laughs> Want to look? I think he's a bit small to keep. No, 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 no. He's just a bit small, so we're going to... Can they try to catch a bigger one? Yep, we'll try and catch a bigger one. Okay? Okay, here we go. You ready? Say goodbye. Bye-bye. Here he goes. That was a good size fish, wasn't it? We have caught one kawaii. Looks like we might have a mackerel. I hope you enjoyed our wharf fishing adventure. We caught enough fish to keep our kid entertained for several hours. And now for our kid's fishing tip. Our tip is to use a burly bomb when you want to increase your chances of catching fish and entertaining your child. The burly bomb acts just like a fish magnet and in this episode we used a mulched, pilchard and bonito bomb. So the next time you take a kid fishing, use a burly bomb to get better results. And leave your comments below, we'd love to hear about your kids fishing adventures. Please subscribe to the kids fishing channel for more great fishing tips and kids fishing adventures. Thanks for watching another episode of Kids Fishing.